coordinate geometry Coordinate geometry or analytic geometry is defined as the study of geometry using the coordinate points. Using coordinate geometry, it is possible to find the distance between two points, dividing lines in a ratio, finding the midpoint of a line, calculating the area of a triangle in Cartesian plane, etc. We know how to find the distance between any two points on the number line. If x1 and x2 are the coordinate points of P and R and x2 is greater than x1, the length of segment PR is equal to distance of PR which is equal to x2 minus x1. Observe the given number line. Here, segment PR is equal to distance of PR which is equal to 4 minus of minus 1 which is equal to 4 plus 1 which gives us 5. Using the same concept, we can find the distance between two points on the same axis in xy plane. To find distance between any two points on x axis, in the given figure points a x1, 0 and point b x2, 0 are on x axis such that x2 is greater than x1. Therefore, distance of ab is equal to x2 minus x1. To find the distance between two points on y axis, in the given figure, points P 0, y1 and Q 0, y2 are on y-axis such that y2 is greater than y1. Therefore, distance of PQ is equal to y2 minus y1. To find the distance between two points if the segment joining these two points is parallel to x-axis in the xy-plane. In the figure, segment AB is parallel to x-axis. Therefore, y-coordinates of point A and B are equal. Therefore, distance of AB is equal to x2 minus x1. To find the distance between two points if the segment joining these points is parallel to y-axis in the xy-plane. In the figure, segment PQ is parallel to y-axis. Therefore, x-coordinates of points A and B are equal. Therefore, distance of PQ is equal to y2 minus y1. Distance formula. To find the distance between any two points on the number line. In the figure A, x1, y1 and B, x2, y2 are any two points in the xy plane. Segment BD is parallel to y axis. Therefore, BD is equal to y2 minus y1. Segment AD is parallel to x axis. Therefore, AD is equal to x2 minus x1. In the right angle triangle, triangle ABD, AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square using Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, AB is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. This is known as distance formula. If ABC are three points and AB plus BC is equal to AC, then ABC are collinear points and B lies between the points A and C. Practice set 5.1. Question number 1. Sub question 2. Find the distance between the points P minus 5,7 and Q minus 1,3. Coordinate of P is equal to minus 5,7 is equal to x1, y1. Coordinate of Q is equal to minus 1,3 which is equal to x2, y2. PQ is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Therefore, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square is equal to minus 1 minus of minus 5 the whole square plus 3 minus 7 the whole square which is equal to minus 1 plus 5 the whole square plus 3 minus 7 the whole square which is equal to 4 square plus minus of 4 square which is equal to 16 plus 16 which gives us 32. Therefore, PQ is equal to under root 32, which is equal to 4 root 2 units. Question number 2, sub question 1. Determine whether the points are collinear. A, 1, minus 3, B, 2, minus 5, C, minus 4, 7. Solution, distance between points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. First, to find AB, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square is equal to 2 minus 1 the whole square plus minus 5 minus of minus 3 the whole square which is equal to 2 minus 1 the whole square plus minus 5 plus 3 the whole square which is 1 square plus minus 2 square 
which gives us 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5. Therefore, AB is equal to root 5. To find BC, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square is equal to minus 4 minus 2 the whole square plus 7 minus of minus 5 the whole square which is equal to minus 4 minus 2 the whole square plus 7 plus 5 the whole square which gives us minus 6 square plus 12 square which is equal to 36 plus 144 which gives us 180. Therefore, BC is equal to under root 180 which is 6 root 5. Third, to find AC, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square is equal to minus 4 minus 1 the whole square plus 7 minus of minus 3 the whole square is equal to minus 4 minus 1 the whole square plus 7 plus 3 the whole square which is minus 5 square plus 10 square which is 25 plus 100 which gives us 125. Therefore, AC is equal to under root 125 which is 5 root 5. Therefore, 5 root 5 plus root 5 is equal to 6 root 5. Therefore, BC plus AB is equal to AC. Therefore, ABC are collinear points and B lies between points A and C. Thank you for watching The Academic Squad.